Welcome to a Yakuza 0 100% trophy guide video. In this video I'm going to try and explain Cabaret in the best way I possibly can. Uh, I will link you to Cyrix Z's guide for Cabaret because it includes special training and stuff like that and hand signals etc. I'll try and explain it now but it's definitely good to have a written source down there as well. Uh, please check that out in the description. So basically Cabaret is a side story in the Yakuza game for Majima and basically he's gonna get his demon style, his mad dog style uh, if you complete all the side stories. So it's similar to um, what's it called? The business of Kiryu's where there's five enemies to face uh, and they're leaders of their respective regions. So if you you go around, you buy buildings to get more fans uh, and certain buildings are got by doing sub stories and building friendships. So do that as as a base point. Do the sub stories as I've done them in the uh, guide as well. Uh, if you want to check them out, so do them all as you go along. You'll get various different hostesses from doing that. You can buy hostesses at the CP shrine. I've got a guide showing you the locations of the ones on the street where you have to get them with La Marche uh, items. You give them to them and they join. Um, so there's a lot going on. There is one. The last gold hostess you get for completion is off a sub story and it's the telephone booth sub story. Not the telephone club but like the booth uh, save point. So that'll be one for you to take note of. The mini game itself Basically, you're going to get a load of customers coming in. You want to put a hostess that makes the customer happy with that customer, essentially. And you want to go with the, you know, the, the best ones. So if the, if the best ones are, you know, Miki, Chica, Mana, etc., put them in as much as you can. They will start to get drained uh, health-wise and stuff like that. But uh, it's definitely worth using them and then you can switch them out the next time and then put them back in depending on how tired they are or lack of motivation and stuff like that. So the game itself, put them with each other. There's a little bar in the bottom right basically which gives you fever time. I always use it on level 1 and if you use it on level 1 essentially it takes two uh, sections of the party uh, and makes it so it's just you don't have to do anything they're not going to ask for you know towels or refilling ice or anything like that it's just like constant money and it boosts the amount of money you get uh, the only time it will come up is when the session ends uh, but you can't extend the session at that point but what you can do is give them a gift if you give them a gift it means you're drawing more fans from word of mouth if you give the hostess a gift it'll boost her HP up but all of these things cost money at the end of the day. That'll take money off your uh, takeaway. But if you're trying to boost fans to you know, get through this as quickly as possible, uh, give, give the gifts to the customers. At the end of... Uh, if you're not in super mode or whatever it is, in fever mode, and it ends, then you want to press Y on them anyway and try and extend the session. Sometimes they'll decline, but most of the time they'll agree. Uh, if they're relatively happy, even if no one's going to make them happy, uh, put them with them anyway if you've not got anyone to to make them happy um, because you'll still make money off it basically and sometimes basically they'll get angry if, if they've got an unhappy mood and you can actually improve their mood if you give them a gift, sometimes they accept, sometimes they don't, they might leave, whatever. Um, in terms of like when they say like uh, you know please help you have to go over to the section press Y on them and you know you have to keep your eye on the ball at all times with this because if you do help you do get extra orders and stuff like that uh, as you can see you can praise the girl that'll boost her HP and stuff at the end but like hand signals <laughs> so they'll ask about hand signals so if they give you an L for loser that means the guest glass. If it's a lady's glass, they'll give you a C for like a small glass. 
Um, if it's a towel, they'll sort of ring a towel with their hands invisibly. Invisible ringing towel. Um, refilling ice is where the thumb and the little finger are pointed out to the sides. And then they'll flip it upside down as if you're going to refill the ice with your hand. Uh, a menu is where your hand opens up with two hands. And swap ashtray is where they sort of do a crescent with their hands as if you were holding a goblet. That's that's re uh, ashtray. So I think that's all the hand signals mentioned. What else is there to mention? Obviously you want to go for the richer ones as much as you can. Uh, but there's not really too much to this minigame other than that. It's just hand signals, keeping your eye on the prize. And getting people into fever time as much as you can. Getting as much money as you can. Against the kings, I would recommend praising the girls. Uh, mainly because you're not losing money that way, but you are restoring their HP. If you feel like you're kicking ass, then you can obviously give them a gift. But don't do it too often, and maybe your, your specialist girls can uh, have that. Um, to get to that point, you need a certain amount of fans. And then it'll say, like, the moon area is challenging you. And then every time you beat a um, king of an area, you get a new hostess as well, who you can train up. So training the hostess is basically, you want to give them all a makeover, the ones that you can do. There's only, I think there's six of them that you can do it to. Um, basically, you want to get their stats to three purple circles, if you can. Uh, double purple circles, as you can see. Um, so you've got like sexy, cute, they're uh, funny, beauty, and basically you're just going to accessorize the girl. So like give them earrings, give them different types of stuff, and you'll see the the numbers sort of uh, like balance out <laughs> basically. So you'll you'll have like maybe you'll start off with an X, a circle, an X, and a circle, and then you need to use those accessories to get it up to three double circles and that's like the most efficient that a hostess can be um, if you've got you know different uh, hostesses you can give them different styles if you know what I mean so one could be beauty sexy funny and the other one can be cute sexy funny and the other one can be cute beauty blah 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 and like that so you mix them up a bit so you get the best chance of getting the happy uh, customers essentially um, but once once you get used to the the mini game itself, it's it's really simple. Uh, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Some of them you have to fight as well after the uh, cabaret battle, and that's generally not too bad. So it's it's pretty similar. They're they're pretty strong, but you can obviously exploit them. With various moves. The breaker style could be a good one to use if you're used to it. Um, but yeah, there's. Not much more to say, really, is there? I don't know. I don't think I've missed anything. I hope I haven't missed anything. But yeah, in terms of, you know, like getting money for stuff, just go and beat up Mr. Shakedown. Get the money from him. And uh, you can spend that on the, uh, getting the buildings and stuff. Probably the best way. It shouldn't take too long to do this. This is definitely quicker than the business minigame. There's a lot of completion points involved in it. And, uh, yeah, a lot of time invested, so fingers crossed you'll nail it all and it shouldn't be too much of an issue. If you do have any issues, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to help you out. And, yeah, with that said, thank you very much for watching. Check out Sir Z's guides on all things Yakuza as well on Game FAQs, links in the description. And... Yeah, peace out. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe as well if you enjoyed the video. Peace. Thank you.
ってる Yeah, mm -hmm. 